Hello everyone and welcome back to Push Square. I apologise because that was utterly horrendous. But anyway, my name is Aidan and today I have been thinking a whole lot about spooky season. You see, I am a terrible scaredy cat when it comes to horror games, yet at the same time, I cannot help but indulge myself in the Halloween spirit every year with some absolutely horrible times in video games. So as I pondered on which disastrous title would have me screaming the house down this year, I started to compile a neat little list of the best horror games available on PlayStation that you should totally be checking out this Halloween or any time you fancy a wee scare. Just in case things get a little too scary and you don't make it to the end, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you aren't missing out on the plethora of non-scary PlayStation content. Let's get our spook on with the top 10 horror games available on PlayStation right now. If you're looking for something a little shorter, then Inside is the pick for you. From the devs of Limbo, this side-scroller is incredibly simple mechanically but more than makes up for it with its visuals and visual storytelling. I've only played Inside the one time and it only takes around three and a half hours to complete, yet all these years later, its atmosphere and visuals have stayed with me. Sometimes nerve-wracking, other times haunting, there's just something about Inside that will induce a trance-like state as you move from one disturbing encounter to the next. And with its brief runtime, it doesn't overstay its welcome or irritate you with overly repetitive gameplay scenarios. No, it just arrives, shows you what it needs to show you, disturbs you in the process, and then dips. Pretty solid selection if you ask me. When you are lost in the darkness, look for the light. No, that is not the mantra of the Fireflies, but that of Alan Wake, which is an often forgotten and rather underrated horror gem. This is one I would describe as a cosy horror experience with your typical setup of a writer heading to a slow and quiet town only to uncover all sorts of scary hijinks. Originally on the PS3, the PS4 and 5 remaster may not be the best remaster out there, but if anything, it just allows us to experience this tale all over again. Unlike some of the other entries in this list, Alan Wake has some great narrative hooks as you try and find your lost wife that everyone else seems to think doesn't exist. And with its episodic structure, it is the perfect game to pick up for a bit and return to later. Because you know, sometimes the spooks become too much. Bioshock isn't commonly remembered as a horror game, but the first game in the series is drenched in atmospheric horror with the odd moment that will have you feeling the true claustrophobia of rapture. Whether that be the spooky shadows of a splicer or the spine-tingling sound of a nearby Big Daddy, there is plenty to set you on edge in Bioshock. Not to mention that The Fallen Kingdom of Rapture is possibly one of the best video game settings ever. It's a game that also makes you consider each and every encounter you get into and has you exploring the depths of a city that is inhabited by the haunted and the deranged. Until Dawn is another cozy horror game for me. Supermassive Games has gone on to publish many other branching narrative horror experiences, but they've never quite managed to capture the magic or reach the same heights of their first outing until dawn. With the classic, a bunch of teens making their way to an isolated cabin premise, both your reactions and your decisions will impact who lives and who dies, making each playthrough personal to you and truly engrossing. Until Dawn can also catch you off guard in some truly memorable ways. Bloodborne isn't strictly horror, but there isn't a person here looking at this game and thinking, nah, not enough horror vibes. The city of Yarnum, for one, is caked in gothic architecture and is filled to the brim with horrific creatures and individuals. More so than any Souls game or even Elden Ring, this game leans heavily into a setting that is equally horrifying and enchanting. You'll struggle to turn away from Yarnum's nightmares no matter how unnerving they become. And what is even better is that you'll steadily learn and memorise 
every square inch of this place, knowing full well the horrors that await you. Every nasty little creature that is just waiting for the most opportune moment to strike. Every trap that will put all of your progress at risk. But Bloodborne is also really good at getting your heart pumping with its sweat inducing combat. You'll be stressing over every roll and attack, especially with its lack of shields. Outlast was one of my earliest PS4 memories. It takes the trapped in an insane asylum premise to the next level with an absolutely bonkers storyline and the supremely entertaining camcorder mechanics. Outlast amped up its scares by making you literally defenseless. Your only options are to run and hide. And as you hear the chain scraping and momentary little pig remarks, you'll be sweating away at the thought of being caught. It cannot be emphasised enough just how refreshing this gameplay was at the time, where you're anxiously watching your camera batteries drain, knowing that once it's gone, you won't be able to see a damn thing. Honestly, it took me ages to complete this game just because of how terrifying it was, but the scares are well worth it. Resident Evil 7 was the reinvigoration that the franchise needed. Switching to the first person perspective, this slow burning horror leaves you within the grimy grasps of the Baker family. You'll be solving puzzles and steadily unlocking your way through their property and honestly, it's horrifying. If you have yourself a PSVR headset then playing through Biohazard in VR is one of the best and worst ways to experience it. This is one of the more ambitious Resi games as well so it will take you a fair whack longer to complete but with new locations and the steady introduction of more powerful weapons, Resi 7 will keep you interested and more importantly, scared for its entire duration. The Evil Within is one of those truly cinematic horror experiences and I must admit, I very nearly replaced it with what I think is its far superior sequel. However, there is a grungy quality to the original that elevates its scares that bit further. With restrictive movie black bars, film grain dialed to a level that would make a farmer jealous. <sighs> I know, that was terrible. And a variety of settings with each more disturbing than the last. But bringing homage back to the likes of Silent Hill and the OG Resi games, The Evil Within is a crunchy and dynamic horror game that keeps you guessing. It's filled with horrifically designed monsters, butt clenching chases and my personal favourite, plenty of hallways that change and shift as you walk down them. I mean come on, they just look so cool. Resident Evil 2 was long regarded as one of the horror greats, so when Capcom decided to produce a full scale remake, I couldn't wait to jump on the opportunity. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. Resident Evil 2 Remake has atmosphere dripping off the walls. Or maybe that's just the saliva of a liquor. It's short and, well, not exactly sweet, but it only takes about 4-8 to eight hours to complete Leon's side of the story. And in those handful of hours you're going to be agonisingly creeping your way through dark scary hallways or holding your breath when you hear the dreaded thuds of Mr X who is forever patrolling the hallways of the RCPD precinct. The second you step inside this precinct, you'll be freaking out at every sight and sound. Alien Isolation is a personal favourite of mine, so it had to be here. This has to be one of the best movie tie-in games we gamers have been lucky enough to receive, with the atmosphere established in Ridley Scott's 1979 classic, perfected here. The sights and sounds of Alien Isolation will have any franchise fans giddy as they recognise iconic memorabilia and sounds. And all of that is before you get on to the fact that this is a pretty damn scary game. With the titular Xenomorph being an adaptive and unscripted AI, you never truly know when or where this thing will show up. And honestly, Bumping into the xenomorph in a claustrophobic air vent will have you squirming in the spot as you know by that point, it's game over man. 
And that is it for our spooky selection of the best horror games you can play this Halloween on PlayStation. But of course, please do let me know your favourite horror games out there, and even better, the scariest moment in a game you've ever played. For me, and this is a bit of a rubbish one, but it always comes to mind, entering the baker's house for the first time in VR in Resident Evil Biohazard, I just knew the door would slam behind me and I genuinely spent 10 minutes trying to muster up the courage to step inside. And yes, you better believe that that door did slam behind me. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we really do appreciate the likes that you leave. That helps us tackle the dreaded algorithm. And if you are on the hunt for more PlayStation content just like this, then why not subscribe? And I'll get you back here on Push Square.